today's video, I'm going to show you one quick tip that goes in and makes getting into your BIOS a breeze. So go ahead and stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. I am Aaron and I'm from Help Cloud. We are your go-to tech resolution hub. And on this channel, we focus primarily things like unboxing or reviews or tech tips. So if that is any interest to you, consider subscribing. Now the BIOS or basic input output system is a system that is stored on a read only memory or ROM chip installed on your motherboard. And its main purpose is to get the computer going before the operating system such as Windows 10 takes over. Now there are some settings in the BIOS that you may need to access or you may need to do an update to the BIOS, especially if new hardware has been released and your motherboard needs to update the firmware or the BIOS in order to accept that new hardware. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Perfect, so here we are. We are currently logged into our Windows 10 machine. Sorry about the angle, recording software stops recording whenever you obviously go into a restart phase. So what we're gonna want to do is go down into your bottom left hand corner or wherever your start menu is located. Go ahead and left click to bring up your start menu. Then what you're gonna want to do is left click once on where it says power, it's gonna bring up the power options that you can choose from and then you're gonna hold down the key shift on your keyboard while pressing the restart or left clicking on the restart and what this is going to do is it's going to put the computer into a restart phase where you may need to click restart anyway like you briefly saw here just a second ago but then it's gonna take you to this advanced screen where you can choose a new option. We've got a few different options in here. We've got continue, turn off your PC, USB, uh, use a device or troubleshoot. We're gonna want to left click right here where it says troubleshoot. So we're gonna left click on that one. And then we have the option to do reset this PC or advanced options. We're going to left click on advanced options. And then we have six options in here now, but the one that we're gonna work on is where it says UEFI firmware settings. Yiffy is just a new type of BIOS. It's more just a fancy way of saying BIOS. So you're gonna want to left click on the UEFI firmware settings and then go ahead and click restart one more time. What this is going to do, again, it's going to put the computer into a full restart mode and it's going to boot up the next time in the actual BIOS. And as you can see, it restarted into BIOS. So this, I have the Max Power AC MSI motherboard Z97. This is what my Yiffy BIOS looks like. Yours may be a little bit different depending on what motherboard manufacturer you have, but this is your BIOS or your Yiffy settings and you can go in here and change all sorts of settings. Once you've got all the settings that you need to do taken care of, you can hit F10 as the hotkey, and it's gonna ask if you want to save the configuration reset. Again, yours may differ, uh, differ just a little bit, and then the computer's gonna shut down all the way in order to apply those settings, and it's gonna automatically turn itself back on and continue to boot in the normal Windows operating system. Well guys, that's going to do it. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. Now I know there's tons of different ways that you guys probably use to access your BIOS. This just happens to be my favorite and most convenient for me without having to shut down the computer or putting the computer into a safe mode. It allows me to just do an advanced reboot and get into the BIOS settings and make the adjustments that I need to. So if you guys have a different method, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. I'd love to get in touch with you and connect with you guys and see what other options or what other type of methods that you guys use in order to access your BIOS. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this week's Split Second Tech. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give the video a big old thumbs up and a like, and also subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.